Hey guys, Juan Ferry here. Um, I wanted to do a really quick video about the EMF output of our device uh, versus the common household appliances we all have laying around. So I got this trusty EMF reader um, off of Amazon. It's like one of the mid-grade priced ones, like about 40 bucks. And don't look at my reflection, that's my messy mom bun. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to kind of uh, turn some things on, see what we got. Uh, so let's check it out. First things first, this waffle iron, I actually did plug it in. <laughs> it is hot, as you can see, it is hot. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing that we're gonna measure. So the way this one works is you just turn it on and you hold it close to the current of whatever you wanna test. So that would be back here by the wire on this one. So let's, oh, this is gonna probably burn me. So this is gonna be we're getting to like 279, 260, oh, 320, bounced up. Oh, I think it went over 400 there for a second. So yeah, about 300, 400 is what this little waffle iron's kicking off. Um, all right, so let's test something else. Let's do my grandmother's 1970s <laughs> electric carving knife. All right, so this has been around in my family for a long time, um, as long as I can remember. And so I figured it would be a good one to test because it's old, um, it's Toastmaster, it doesn't have any of the EMF like shielding of new technology, so I figured it'd be a great one to check. So let's check this guy out. So if you see right here, putting it next to the cord where the current completes, uh, we're getting a like 226 with it powered off. I'm gonna turn it on. Now. Actually went down a little bit when I turned it on. Now it's going up. I'm gonna kind of move it around, test it. Oh, trying to watch what I'm doing and film at the same time. So yeah, about the same. So two, two, three hundred range. All right. So let's test um, a hand mixer. Um, we're probably all using these right now because Thanksgiving and pumpkin pie and all that stuff. So yeah, I actually haven't tested this one yet. I just had my daughter plug it in. So let's just check it out. I'm going to measure the cord right here where the power is coming to it. And this is plugged in, isn't it, sissy? Mm -hmm. Should be. Nope, not oh. plugged in. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, I want to do this all in one take so you guys can see that I'm not jerking your chain. Uh, but anyway, this is the cord reading with it powered off. So same, about 226. A lot of these small handheld appliances are hanging out around there, like two, you know, two, three hundred, something like that. Let's go ahead and fire it up. It's going up to like over three hundred, like the other things. Pretty much the same. All right, let's try that lamp out, sis. Now this one actually surprised me because um, I have. I have lamps in uh, every room of my house, as many of you do, I'm sure. And uh, this one is just a little, it's a little touch lamp. So um, watch what happens when you measure this touch lamp. If I can move my camera. <laughs> yeah, so this little touch lamp is actually putting it up over 300. Let's turn it on high. I think that was on high. Make sure it's all the way up. So this lamp is actually throwing more than the other things I just tested, almost 400. Which, yeah, I have this lamp on every night. I've never noticed anything with it. All right. Let's take that lamp out of here. How about a blow dryer? Now, I use this blow dryer regularly and have the entire time I've been sick. I've never had any um, issues with it. Um, so let's go ahead and measure the cord. Sorry, if it's not lined up exactly, I'm trying to do 20 things at once. But also, don't want to cut the video so you know that I'm not drinking your tea. So yeah, here's the uh, hair dryer. That's with it powered off. Let me power it on real quick. I'm going to kind of move it around the blow dryer, see where, because I'm not a scientist, so I don't know exactly where the strongest current would come from, but I'm guessing it's going to be here where the actual current is, and that usually proves to be where I get the highest reading. So okay. Let's see what else we got here. How about, let's go ahead and test that classic wand. So, okay, so this is the classic wand. This is the wand that I received my healing from. Uh, day five, I was 
almost 100% uh, symptom free. The only symptom I still have is some tinnitus that's hanging around, but it is getting better. So here's the classic devices is the one that you all have, uh, the one that I started out with. Um, so let's go ahead and take a reading off of the end here. So it's reading about the same as the other household devices. Um, so it's 196 around that. I haven't really seen anything spike up, up over the 400 except for the lamp. So that's this and I'll just run it down the cord so you can see. It's not going over about 250. Hope you can see that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. I'm going to put it on level one here. Oh, I wish it would zoom. There it goes. So I'm getting about a 260, which is less than the other household appliances I showed you. So that's right where the motor is. I want to go ahead and like run it all over the machine. Let's see, let's go like this so you can see as well. Yeah, I don't I don't see it going up over that 250 here. And then what's really cool is if you if you go to the blower end itself, it goes into the completely safe zone. Um, the most that I got it to blow out of the top was like right around 25 at the top. So that's in the blue safe zone, meaning it's not giving any alerts when you're pointing this directly at your body. If you are super sensitive to the EMF, um, I would highly recommend getting that handle that we use or getting the stand if you're going to be using it for, for a long period of time. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that uh, there's nothing to worry about. No EMFs that are going to be harmful to you here. Um, oh, my laptop. Let's test my laptop. Let me see this right before I let you guys go. I forgot to test this. So this is my laptop that I'm on all day long. And with it, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, it's sitting like right around 100, just closed and not being used. So, I mean, like I said, I don't think that these are putting off harmful EMF. That is my opinion. I am not a scientist. I am not a doctor, but I can speak from life experience and I've had no issues with mine. So just wanted to ease your mind and show you for yourself that uh, these things are good to go. Happy wanding, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.